Hi guys, it's Hani here and today I'm going to show you how to make these colorful rainbow meringue pretzel sticks. I first saw this idea on Instagram and I'm not sure who invented this, but if you do know, let me know and I will include a credit in a link in the description box under the video. And now let's get started with today's tutorial. First, we're going to make a meringue. To make the meringue into a bowl, I'm adding egg whites, granulated sugar, and also some lemon juice. You want to whisk this until well combined, and then we're going to heat this over a pot with simmering water until all of the sugar is dissolved. Be sure to whisk it. And this is going to take maybe five minutes or so. And you can test if the sugar is dissolved by rubbing the mixture between your fingers. And if there is no graininess, it's ready to go. I'm going to start beating this on low to medium high speed. And we want to reach a stiff peak. This is not a stiff peak, so I'm going to have to beat this for a little longer. To flavor my meringue, I'm going to use... Um, vanilla extract and almond extract. You want to use either alcohol or water-based extract. Try not to use oil-based extract because those can interfere with how the meringue behaves. I'm also adding some cornstarch. And I'm just going to beat this for a little longer, a few more minutes, and then once it reaches a stiff peak, and this is what a stiff peak looks like, we are ready to go. Now, instead of coloring all of the meringue with uh, food colors, what I like to do, I like to add about three quarters of a cup into each bowl. I'm using six bowls. And then we're gonna color these, color each meringue with a rainbow color. So I'm starting with red and I'm using concentrated gel food colors you don't want to use liquid food colors because those will dilute the meringue too much and the color is not going to be as vibrant. You are going to fold the color into the meringue like so. And if you don't have purple, purple sometimes it's hard to achieve, you can also use sky blue and pink food coloring to get a really nice purple. Cover your work surface with a food wrap and now we're going to create a rainbow layer. Spread the rainbow meringue. Like I'm doing here, use a small spatula or you can use a spoon. At this point, you can also preheat your oven to 175 degrees of Fahrenheit. All right, and now I'm going to take remaining white meringue and I'm just going to spread it over the rainbow layer. I like using this technique because it eliminates the excessive use of food colors. Instead of coloring all of the meringue, uh, I just colored a little bit of meringue and then we are going to create a pouch and you won't even notice white meringue on the finished royal uh, royal rainbow meringue pretzel sticks and this technique also works if you were to pipe swirls or little rainbow kisses i'm going to tuck it under slightly and then twist the ends and what you can do you can also tie one end this is going to prevent meringue from oozing out while you are piping so push push it down a little bit and then tie a knot there. And to pipe, I'm going to use a large star tip. Now, the opening on the star tip should be bigger than the pretzel rod that you're using. So if you're using small pretzel rods, you don't need a large opening like I'm using, but I'm using large pretzel rods, so I needed a large piping tip. And now we're going to trim this end, push it down a little, and then we can insert it into a piping bag. 
piping bay I'm using today it's a 16 inch you can see it's a tight fit but it's going to work And to pipe the meringue onto the pretzel sticks, I used an unusual tool that I haven't used in a kitchen. I'm so excited about this. So we're going to use a drill. I'm going to cover the opening with a food wrap, just so the pretzel is not touching the metal that is probably not very sanitary, but the food wrap works. And I'm going to secure it onto the drill. You don't want to crush it, so try not to make it too tight, just so it doesn't fly out when you are turning the drill, like so. And then to pipe, we're going to insert the pretzel stick into the piping bag through the star tip, like I'm doing here. And then you're gonna turn the drill on slowly. You don't want to do this too fast. And then you're moving the piping bag away from the drill. This was so fun, really, really fun. And if you don't want to do rainbow colors, you can just do two colors or even one color and then maybe add some sprinkles on the top. Here is another take. And you want to place this on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Don't use wax paper. Make sure that you are using parchment paper. And I'm going to bake these at 175 degrees of Fahrenheit for about three to four hours. And then I like to turn off the oven and leave them in the oven until the oven cools. And they are ready. These are so yummy. I was a little concerned that the pretzel stick would get really hard, but it really doesn't. And you can make these ahead of time. Be sure to store these away from the moisture. I personally like to store these in an airtight container with a little bowl of uh, raw rice. Rice helps to absorb excess moisture and keeps the meringue crisp. And for a full recipe with a printable option that you can print the recipe, you can find it on my blog, hanyalas.com. Link is in the description box under the video. And if you wanted to make something different with the rainbow meringue, you can try piping rainbow cookies onto the parchment. And these will also bake for about three hours or so. You can bake these together with your pretzel sticks. I'm going to sprinkle these with some white nonpareils and then we can bake these off. You can bake these together with the pretzel sticks and once baked and cooled you can store these in an airtight container. They are also really pretty on cakes or you can sandwich these with some chocolate ganache, yum! And that's how you can make these rainbow meringue pretzel sticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun making these and I hope you will give it a try. Let me know if you do. I'd love to see your pictures and thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.